I want to tell you a story that starts with my PhD defense in 2007, and I'm showing you a genuine slide from that defense. And it's about this venerable research area of formal methods, where we realized writing software that's correct is hard, so we could use some help. We could use uh, mathematical proofs, even very rigorous machine-checkable mathematical proofs as a tool to get that right. We can even apply them to uh, the decidedly unsexy topic of compilers, which are very important for the correctness of the code that we rely on. So I came up with all this mathematical structure and uh, practical techniques for doing those proofs. But it seemed pretty ivory tower at the time. There, there weren't many, if any, uses of this kind of stuff in industry. So remember this as we proceed through the rest of this presentation. Uh, so let, now let's fast forward to 2014 when there was a really important security bug in the OpenSSL library, which is used for, for instance, secure web communication. It had been in there for years and not detected, and suddenly all these applications using OpenSSL were vulnerable. So a, a workshop was convened the following year, uh, organized by the Linux Foundation, that was bringing together those of us in academia studying tools for, for programming and assurance about code with the people who were building and maintaining these most popular critical uh, cryptography and other secure systems in the wild and get us to talk to each other and figure out how we might help each other out. And in that setting, I learned that one really tricky part of popular cryptographic libraries was arithmetic. More specifically, big integer modular arithmetic in the sense of the modulo operator. And one domain where that was applied was elliptic curve cryptography where it was hard to get code that was simultaneously correct, fast, and secure. And that was a little surprising to me that arithmetic could be such a, a difficult implementation domain. But I, I learned more about it. And it turned out that there's a set of standardized algorithms that matters for cryptography in, say, internet protocols. There are moderately many of those. There's a set of different prime numbers that are fixed in standards. And you have to use that as your modulus if you're applying a particular standard. There are the moderately large set of those. And then there's a smaller but still non-trivial set of different kinds of hardware architectures, where to run code on that architecture, you must use different optimization tricks to get the best performance. So the state of the art when I learned about this area was when you pick a new element out of that three-way cross product, pick one circle from each bubble, what you have to do is you go off and get one of a small set of experts to rewrite all the code from scratch in C or assembly to get the best performance at the same time as security. So this was clearly an opportunity to apply some compiler technology. So that's what we did. We built a system that could automate what those experts were doing uh, and it, for instance, takes the same source program and generates one or the other of the two C programs shown here intentionally in a small enough font that you won't be tempted to try to read it in detail, but just from like an art appreciation perspective, they look pretty different, right? Even though they, they come from the same source code and there are a lot of details, a lot of magic numbers to get right in there for this to be a correct realization of some cryptographic primitive. So we built a, a library that takes in a choice of number representation. That's, that's kind of the heart of the, the challenge of this domain, and automatically builds the fast C code. And our library has a mathematical proof of correctness. It's even a machine checkable proof. So you can recheck this proof yourself. And there are some other parts in it that apply some classic compiler ideas that I, I won't go into in detail here. And so we built this thing. We proved it correct. We're able to generate code that uh, exhibits this performance for some benchmarks in a, a particular kind of cryptography for both a 64-bit uh, laptop machine and a 32-bit ARM mobile phone. And this is comparing against the previous best-known fully generic implementation of this kind of arithmetic. We're often getting a 5 to 10x performance improvement there. And we also compare pretty well against the uh, handwritten by experts code, for instance, uh, as you'd find in OpenSSL for this particular cryptographic primitive, P256. We're about a factor of two off from the, the handwritten assembly code in a, the original version of this project, but doing better than the handwritten C code. We wanted to close that gap, so uh, we worked with some collaborators at the University of Adelaide and developed a system. Uh, let's read this uh, starting from the top left and kind of going uh, counterclockwise around. Our system takes source code, turn, uh, lowers it into C-like code with the component I told you about previously, and then uh, generate some assembly from there, making some kind of arbitrary choices about which assembly to prefer. And then we mutate that assembly code to produce a few different variations, choose different instructions, reorder the instructions, and then benchmark all of them, keep the fastest one, repeat that process, 
keep modifying the code and benchmarking until we, in the end, come up with the, the fastest code. And we also built a checker that can establish that the winner computes the same mathematical function as the C-like code we started with. And this checker has the, the most rigorous kind of mathematical proof around it. So none of this big cycle needs to be trusted. So the whole story around this was pretty compelling to people maintaining big open source cryptographic systems. We initiated this project here at MIT in 2015. We, we released it on GitHub. And then several of my students over the years did internships at Google, arranged by people like Adam Langley, one of the authors of Google's boring SSL library. And then I, in 2018, a few years later, the first release of, of Chrome shipped that uses our code for almost all secure web connections. And since then, uh, for one thing, Google created a new team specifically to try to scale up this kind of technology in their setting to, to other, other ones of their production systems, hired the, one of the students from the project to uh, be in charge of that. And also, our code has been adopted for all major web browsers in the meantime, as well as, as all major mobile platforms for, for their TLS implementations. So this, this is the, the path that led from even uh, decades of, of work in formal methods, the idea you could prove a compiler, and uh, we showed that it's a really good fit for this problem of generating trustworthy cryptographic software. And here's a link where you can find us on GitHub. Thank you.